The Australian government has rubbished China's claim of increased racism against its citizens as having no basis and no fact. On Friday, the Chinese Ministry of Culture and Tourism issued a travel alert to its citizens, warning them not to travel to Australia. And why? The Chinese Communist Party claims Australians are becoming increasingly racist against Asians because of the coronavirus pandemic and has issued a travel warning to its citizens. However, the statement did not elaborate on specifics, examples of such discriminating or violence against people of Asian background. And the reason they can't do that is because there is no evidence of discrimination or violence against people of Asian descent. Let's look at a few facts. The population of Australia is around 26 million at the moment. There are nearly 4 million Asians of East Asia, Southeast Asia, Central and Southern Asians calling Australia home. In other words, they live here. How many Chinese people live in Australia? 1.213 million. How many Chinese tourists per year travel to Australia? 1.4 million Chinese tourists a year. So how is that the Chinese Communist Party? Australia is one of the most successful, multicultural and migrant societies in the world. Millions of tourists from all corners of the world demonstrate their confidence in Australia as a safe and welcoming and amazing destination by many visitors each year, often returning multiple times. This includes Chinese tourists. The Australian people reject the Chinese Communist Party's claims, which have no basis on fact. This is just more false claims from the Chinese Communist Party aimed at Australia as the world knows from their previous statements. The Chinese Communist Party's Ministry of Culture and Tourism reminds Chinese tourists to enhance their safety, awareness and do not travel to Australia. And why are they making these statements? Well, let's just have a look. China's latest move follows its slapping of an 80% tariff on Australian barley, 80%, and blacklisting four major beef exporters over labelling issues after the Australian Prime Minister called for a global inquiry into the origins of the pandemic. Labelling, yeah. This sort of thing never happens in China, does it, Chinese Communist Party? What about the plastic eggs and the plastic rice you sent to Thailand? Were they properly labelled? Tried to pass them off as a real thing, didn't you? Oh yes, and China issued a warning to tourists travelling to the US earlier this year after some said they were mistreated in connection with the outbreak of the Chinese coronavirus. Maybe the Chinese government should issue warnings for all of its nationals not to travel anywhere in the world because of the CCP virus, or Chinese coronavirus as it is now called. Australia may be one of the only countries in the world that Chinese tourists can return home safely from. The Australians as a nation do not have a problem with the Chinese people. They never did. Only the Chinese Communist Party, and they know that,